Hello everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I'm going to go over how you can train your rats to come when you call them. Now before we get started, there are a few things I want to go over, namely what sound should you use, where should you train this, and what treat should you use. Now come when called is a very important behavior in my mind, just because if you're ever free ranging your rats or if they ever get lost, it's good to have a way to call them directly to you. Now there are many different sounds you can decide on to use to call your rats over, however I suggest that you use a sound that is not used in normal conversation, and that you also use something that is not a word. Now the reason that we want to use something not used in normal conversation is because if you use something that's used in normal conversation your rat is already going to be desensitized to that word since they hear it all the time they're not going to assign any sort of important meaning to it meaning that even if you do condition them to come over when they hear that over time they're again going to learn that it doesn't have any sort of significance and they're going to stop responding and the reason you want to use a sound instead of a word is because rats are really bad at distinguishing different words, but they're pretty good at detecting different tones and sounds. So by using a sound or a tone, you set your rat up for success and you make it much easier for them to learn what you want them to, which is to come over when you call them. And the area you should train this in should be a very small area at first because you want to condition the rat to associate the noise that you're making with the treat. This is very similar to clicker training. You just want this association to be very immediate. You want them to, when they hear the noise, think, okay, I'm going to get a treat. And this is why we should be training it in an area without any sort of distractions. I'm going to be using a very small playpen in this first clip, and you're going to see that this makes it much easier for me to get my rat's attention. And finally, I just want to go over what sort of treat you should use. I recommend you use something that is very valuable to your rat because you want them to be coming over all the time. I would recommend something liquidy like meat baby food or yogurt just because liquid treats tend to be more valuable to your rats and when your rat comes over they're going to be forced to stick with you for a little bit before running off again. Okay so now let's get started with the actual training process. First of all you want to pick your noise. Mine is going to be and whenever you hear that noise that's what I want the rats to come to. In the very beginning what we want to do is make our noise and then give a treat. You're just trying to pair them together so that when they hear the noise your rat automatically thinks okay I'm going to get a treat. So in this first video clip you see me doing the noise and then giving a treat doing the noise, giving a treat, and you want to repeat this at least 10 times with your rat just sitting in your lap. You may need to do it more. What you're looking for is when you make the noise, the rat should look at you because they should be anticipating a treat. Now once your rat seems to be responding to the noise, looking at you, waiting for their treat, it's time to start them a little farther off. So now you want to have your rat sitting somewhere else. You can give them a treat so they're eating it and then make your noise once they finish and then show them the treat and lure them over to you. Give them the treat once they reach you, let them eat it, and then repeat this a few times over. Once your rat starts to come over whenever they hear the noise, you can progress to a little bit of a further distance. Now once they get really good at this, of course, you want to stop using the treat to lure them over because they will need to come to you of their own volition without any sort of help. So at this point, you can just set your rat to the side, and then when they finish their treat or whatever they're doing, you can call them over and let them come over and get a treat. Now once they master this step, this is when it gets a little bit harder because now we're not going to be setting up our rat to actually come over. Instead, you just want to let your rat wander around the free range area for a while, and then when they're a little distracted but still pretty near you, you want to call them and see if they'll come over. If they come over, give them a treat. If they don't come over, walk over to the rat, show them your treat, and then walk back to where you were, and once they come over, give them the treat. Once they master this step and they're coming every single time you call them, even if they're distracted by, let's say, being in a box or digging or chewing on something, then it's time to move on to your actual free range area. Now my free range area is just a giant playpen, however what I do is I kind of repeat the same process. I don't go back to the start where I lure them over, however I do call them when they're close to me and I make sure that they're still pretty close and not too distracted because I want to set them up for success. Now you might find that your rat regresses a little bit in this area just because they aren't used to coming in such a huge area. However to combat this all you need to do is let them explore for at least 30 minutes before you call them over and when you do call them over make sure to start with them pretty close to you. Then build up to distance until you're able to call them from anywhere in the room or your playpen or wherever you're free ranging them and they'll come pretty much all the time. Now at this point you can start to actually variate when you reward them, meaning that you don't need to give them treats every time. One thing you also want to make sure of is that you don't put up your rats every single time you call them. If you do this, your rats are going to learn that coming over to you just gets them put up, and if your rats are enjoying their playtime, this is going to just teach them that instead of coming when they hear that noise, they should run away. 
So that's really all there is to it. You just need to really practice at this until your rats are coming all the time. Now make sure to practice this pretty often. You don't want to teach your rats to come when called when they're young and then just assume they'll do it for the rest of their life because no, like us humans, they do tend to forget things. And this means that you will want to practice it, you know, at least a few times a week to make sure that it stays fresh in their memory. Other than that, that's really all you need to do. I really recommend you teach this behavior to your rats because they really seem to like doing it and because it's very useful if they're ever lost or if they're free ranging in a large area and you would like them to come back immediately that's really all i have for you today and i hope this video was helpful if you would like more tips and tricks on rat training or rat care please feel free to visit my website at rattricks.weebly.com link in the description other than that i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope to see you next time bye